Hi everyone, a few of you had asked me about the 5D Mark II and how I do the live view settings on it and how I'm using it. Focusing just on the edge of the jetty there. So what the live view function on the camera allows you to do is see in real time like you would on a mirrorless camera, the picture on the back of the camera. You also get the exposure preview as well so you can see your exposure before you take the picture. The only thing that's lacking from it compared to a mirrorless camera is the autofocus system. So there's a few different ways that this camera can autofocus. It can track faces and it can attempt to do sort of a continuous autofocus. Um, and you can also have a square that you can move around to try and focus on things. But it's a really sort of crude contrast detection system that it's using. And it's just really slow and it's not, it's not practical. It doesn't work very well. There's a third mode, which is the one that I use, where it just puts the mirror back down, uses the normal focus system as you would like when you hold the camera to your eye and grabs focus, and as soon as you hit focus, it pops the mirror back up again. And that happens really quickly. I'll just give you a little demonstration of that now. So when you're in live view, you can just aim the center of the camera where you get a little gray square at what you want to focus on. Press the AF on button at the back, and you hear what it did there. It dropped the mirror down, focused using the normal focusing system that you would if you were using the viewfinder. When it achieved focus, it popped the mirror back up again. You can also zoom in in live view. If you want to manual focus with your lens, when you're in live view, you can just zoom in using the picture zoom buttons that you have on the back of the camera. And you can move your view around using the joystick on the back. So it's quite practical, especially for landscape photography. The limitations are it's not going to track anything or do anything useful for photographing moving subjects or people like that. But for manual focus, I think it works pretty well. So in a moment, I'll take you into the menu, so I'll show you how to set this up. But the button you'll need to get into Live View once it's set up is this button here, which is the print button. It's next to the viewfinder, and that will act as a Live View on and off button. And for focusing, it's just the AF on button. Now, you don't have to change anything in the, in the settings to, if you're using the shutter button for focus normally, it will automatically default to using the AF on button for focusing. So what we'll do is we'll go into the menu now and set that up. So in the menu, you want to move over to the middle yellow wrench, the second yellow wrench. And below sensor cleaning, you will see live view movie funk set. You go into that and you have the live view function setting. You have disable still only and stills movie. You should just pick stills only. And then in the next option, you'll say stills display or exposure simulation. Pick exposure simulation so you can see the exposure changing on the back of the camera. Then that'll bring you back to the live view movie function set options again. Scroll down to AF mode and just make sure that that is set to quick mode. And that is it. Your camera will now work as you've seen me do it in the video. Just one thing to bear in mind though when you're doing this is it's using the focus point from inside the viewfinder. If you want to move that focus point around or if you find that it's in the wrong position when you go into live view, you have to come out of live view, look through the viewfinder, use the joystick to get back to the center focus point and then come back into live view. That's how you move the focus point around. So when you're looking in live view, you'll see a white box and you'll see a, a little gray square in the middle. It's the gray square in the middle that you're using for this way of focusing. And the white box is the area that you'll zoom into if you're using manual focus. So when you move that around with a joystick, you're moving the area that you'll be able to zoom into on the picture. That's it. That was useful. Please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And leave me a comment. I'll try and get back to you. Take care. Bye-bye.